upset. I should just wipe my whole face off just to start all over again. I thought I hit record on my phone and it wasn't recording. <sighs> but anyway, I went in with my Cover FX Mattifying Primer. I'm almost out of this. I love this and I love the foundation that comes with this, but I'm always, I consider myself a foundation whore. I have several foundations. Today I went ahead and used the Lancome. Don't ask me to pronunciate this. All I know is I went into Sephora and I was like, I need something for my oily skin because I have oily, acne prone skin. So they recommended this along another foundation for oily, acne prone skin is the Cover FX line. And I use the shade G80. I really like this. But it is a little light for me right now. Does that make sense? It's a little light. And it's winter time. I should be able to use this. I don't know. I just know my YSL All Hours and my, um, told you I'm a foundation wear, uh, Makeup Forever, um, Matte Velvet Skin is too dark for me as well. So we are doing the Lancome. I went and got shade tested for that, I want to say two months ago, but anyway, moving on. For a concealer underneath my eyes, and this was my first time using it, and I like how it blended out. I do like how this blends out better. This is the Too Faced um, Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. That blends like butter. I'm not kidding. So I went ahead and used the NARS um, Creamy Concealer in the shade Caramel. Uh, I think it was hyped up a little more. Or maybe I'm just not using it right. Maybe I'm just not using it right. But let's take a look so you can see. I did all that, got that far, and realized I was not recording, so. It's <sighs> okay. It's okay. So we're going to go ahead and go in with um, my Fenty Beauty Stick Contour Stick in the shade Truffle. You can get these at Sephora. So I'm just doing uh, Everyday Glam. <sighs> so yesterday... I broke my fast or my juicing cleanse and I went ahead and ate shrimp. What else did I eat? I tried to eat the pasta. The pasta was so gross. And I'm a pasta girl. I am a pasta girl. But wasn't that great? And the french fries. So today I'm sitting here. I'm going to eat. Oh, and I had popcorn last night. I was like, well, I already broke my fast, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this. So today. I had one green juice, and then it's the afternoon now, so I'm going to go ahead and drink this. Ooh, the cayenne is real in this one. Um, I don't know if anyone else has tried that, but cayenne is so real. Ooh, I'd rather drink ginger than cayenne. I thought ginger was bad, but it's all good for you. So today is a new day. I'm not going to break my juice. I don't know if I should call this a get ready with me or if I should call this <laughs> juice cleanse day one or day four. I don't know. Oh, but yeah, so just staying at home babysitting. I thought I'd do a get ready with me and talk about how I broke my fast. Ooh, that lighting's all over the place. I need to get one of those mounts that you can just mount your phone up like this and you can do your get readies. Or I can just get a freaking camera like everyone else. So, again, a light beat today. Nothing serious. Alrighty, so I'm going to put my hourglass. Uh, radiant bronze light bronzer all over my where I just contoured and this is wet and wild contour stick I think or brush I got that at Fred Meyers what shade is this then I should let y'all know 
don't know, ambient? No, because it's an ambient radiant bronze light. I don't know. I've had this for a while and it broke on our way to Hawaii. I was so bummed. But your girl's still using it. So I'm just going to put this all over where I went ahead and contoured just to set it in place. I'm going to go ahead and take, I don't know if you're seeing a pattern here, my cover fix, translucent powder in the shade medium. And then I'm going to take my, excuse me, it's dirty, my Sephora powder brush. Um, this is a 50.5. I don't know. It's just a nice fluffy <laughs> powder brush. I probably should use whatever's left on here. But I'm just going to go ahead and, and take this and set where the concealer was, or is. So yeah, I'm going to do a lot better today. I think it was just the moon. I think the moon had something to do with me not sticking to my fast like I did last time. So I'm just going to go ahead. I saw this girl. I guess I'm going to use whatever is left over, but this girl took a kabuki brush and just lightly just pressed all over her face to set the rest of her foundation with. I'm not a professional eye makeup. I would like to go to a Sephora class and learn how to contour correctly because I contour. I don't know. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Put on. Oh, it's right here. For mascara, I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic. I love this wand because I feel like this wand really grabs all my lashes, my little lashes that I do have. Yeah. Sorry for all the movement. Yes. Okay, hold on, I'll get it out in just a minute. I'll be done in just a minute, okay? Ooh. I love this mascara. I did buy the um, Coco Chanel, my bottom lashes, but today I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. And you know what? I'm not liking how dark that bronzer is or how light it is. I'm just going to go with my summer shade. I have a summer and a winter shade bronzer. I'm just grab it real quick. And this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills powder bronzer in the shade Cappuccino. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm just going to lightly go over what I already went over. There we go. I like that a lot better. Okay. Well, we're waiting for my mascara to dry. I, again, apologize. I know these are the iconic lashes by House of Lashes. I did not put these back in the container. I don't know if you can see. Let me stick that to my hand. Oh my gosh, I get it together. I love these lashes. These are more dramatic. I like them. I don't like, I mean, I don't really wear the natural ones. Everyday wear, I just don't, I don't, I just, I don't have lashes, so I just want lashes. I want them to be like in your face, like spiders. Alrighty, we got the right one. So yeah, after this juice, I'm going to go ahead and end. drink some water. Oh! So 
yeah, this is, um, oh, it has water, maple syrup, lemon, um, cayenne, and lemon. I already said lemon, so yeah. But it's good for you. I don't want to ban. I should have done that before. I like to do this before I put the um, glue on. I don't know if you guys want to watch me put these on. I forgot the most important step. Oh my gosh. I like to put liner on. So this is the hourglass. Um, waterproof liquid liner i'm just gonna line my lash line real quick i know you guys probably can't see me what i'm doing real quick just like that just like that so i'm gonna go ahead and put this right on to my layers. As I get them on, I like to pinch them as close as I possibly can to my lash line. Oh, nice. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not showing you what I'm doing. Okay. So we got one lash on. I am using the duo glue. I don't know. It's the brush on adhesive. I know it's the green package. You can get it at Ulta, Fred Meyers, Target, Walgreens, I bet. Wait, no one's here. I'm looking right out the window. I don't see anyone. So, take the eyeliner again. Let me just look. I do want to go get the um, Benefit Cabal, Cab how do you say that? The brow pencil by Benefit. I just have not gone in. I need to go get my eyebrows waxed in case you can't see that. So yeah, this is almost done. I don't know, right on. I don't know if you saw that. <gasps> oh. All right, guys. That is the finished look. I'm going to get off here. I might add just a little bit of what I normally do is add a little bit. Hold on, work. I add just a little bit of Max Brown script in my crease. And that's it. And I will brush these brows out and I'll try to fill them in. But right now, I cannot. I just did a little check-in with you guys. I'm going to go ahead and call this day... I don't know. You guys choose for me. Day four. Day one juicing. Anyway, I'll talk to you later.